Welcome to Chuck Olson Kia. Today I'm going to show you the 2016 Kia Soul. We have an alien green Kia Soul here on the showroom floor. This one has been slightly customized, but before we get to that, I'm going to tell you more about Kia in general. Kia started off with some pretty meager roots doing electrical conduiting, bicycles, eventually into cars. And then Hyundai, about a dozen years ago, bought Kia out and the owner of Hyundai gave Kia to his son to run. He immediately went out and recruited Peter Schreiber from Audi, their top design engineer. And he brought his team over. That's why you see the European look on the vehicles. The stylish headlights, the tiger nose grille. The headlights are very nice. They give you excellent lighting on the road. UV resistant ballistic plastic on your headlights, but they still look build in simplicity so that you can actually change your own light bulb by just unscrewing the cap and replacing the bulb. You have your crumple zones. Now, crumple zones are areas in the vehicle that are designed for collapse so that they absorb the energy of an impact on the front or the rear of the vehicle. And if a severe impact, impact were to happen on the front of the vehicle, it has a breakaway engine mount system that directs the energy down to the road and if it's severe enough, it'll make the engine break loose and go under the vehicle instead of into the cab. You have easy access to all, all of the things inside the, the engine compartment here. Your ABS brake controller here is back against the firewall, well protected. If you're in a minor fender bender, you're not going to have to worry about an expensive repair. GDI technology, gasoline direct injection. They've taken diesel engine fuel injection technology and applied it to a gasoline engine using a high pressure fuel pump and squirt it directly into the cylinders of the engine, giving them more horsepower, more torque, and cleaner burning emissions. Your fuse block is right here, two tabs, opens the lid, lifts it off, all your fuses for the vehicle are here, nothing underneath the dash of the vehicle. As we come around, you have a five year, 60,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty, a 10 year, 100,000 mile drivetrain warranty, and you have a five years and 60,000 miles of roadside assistance. On the side of the vehicle here, you have your alloy wheels, which on this particular vehicle we've dressed up by putting hubcaps over. You have your four-wheel ABS disc brakes, very cost-effective, easy to maintain, and excellent stopping ability. Not to mention the ABS brake control system, which also works in conjunction with your traction control system. Over here on this, this side of the vehicle, you have easy access into this vehicle, very high door threshold perfect transition height for the seat, so this makes this vehicle very popular for people that have a hard time getting in and out of vehicles. You have a large glove box which you can fit a woman's purse or possibly even a 12 pack. <laughs> and you have in this particular vehicle the switchblade key fob system, your key is hidden inside, that's a square cut key, very hard to duplicate, and it has the lock unlock features and the tailgate unlock feature along with a panic alarm in case somebody is disturbing you while you're out getting into your vehicle. Come around to the back side here, again, easy access to the back seat, stadium seating, higher than the front seats, allows the passengers of the vehicle to have good visibility while they're in the back. Easy to get in and out of, I'm six foot two. As you can see, I have headroom, clearance, this seat's all the way back, and yet I'm still pretty comfortable. You come around to the back, very large tail lights, easy to see, good visibility, which means the people that are going to be behind you are going to be able to react to you much quicker than somebody that doesn't have this kind of lighting ability. Um, your tailgate is here. Obviously, it's tall enough for a six foot two guy with a hat on to get underneath. Handle for gripping it and pulling it down. Real easy. One hand operation. Open and close. Very simple. Inside, you have this cargo area. Even with the seats up, we have 60 40 split seats. And you have very nice cargo space here, along with additional storage in the tray beneath the cargo deck, which comes out. And then also you have your tire mobility kit and additional storage down here. Now you can get a spare tire kit to go in there along with that, if you so choose. But Kia tries to keep the weight down on the vehicle for fuel efficiency. And 90% of the flats that you get on the road are able to be fixed with a can of tire sealant and an air compressor, which is your tire mobility kit. And we come around to the other side here. 
and now we're to the driver's cockpit. Again, we already talked about the easy access, the still safety cage, the crumple zones. This is a five-star safety rated vehicle. You have power windows, power locks, power mirrors, and window locks. Of course, if you have children in the back seat, you can make this vehicle very safe for the child, being able to lock the rear doors and also be able to turn the windows off so that they're not messing around with them. You come in here, you have your adjustable seat, like a barber chair. You jack it up for height, push down to lower it. You've got your tilt and your bar in front for forward and backward adjustment. You got your adjustable steering wheel, unlock it, it tilts, it telescopes, lock it in when you get into the favorite position that you want. You've got your light controls, your Bluetooth hands-free, voice command button, call start, call end, and also this is a cancellation button so that you can cancel any voice commands that you may want to abort. Uh, auxiliary volume control, station controls for your stereo, which you can also do via voice command. And then you have your cruise control over here, pretty standard, on, off, set, and adjust. You've got your trip computer control for your instrument cluster, reset button, and your electronic steering drive mode button. So we've switched positions. We were, we were just getting to the electronic steering control. The electronic steering mode in the Kia Soul allows you to adjust between sport, normal, and comfort. It's a, basically a sensitivity setting for the steering. When you're in sport mode, it, it, it assumes that you're going fast and thus it desensitizes the steering wheel so that a little change on the steering wheel is even a smaller change on the tire. When you're in comfort mode, it assumes you're driving around town and it actually hypersensitizes the steering, giving a, a little bit more of a turn ratio from the steering wheel to the tire. And of course, normal is one to one. Um, now we go to the stereo controls. This is your stereo system here. This one has the basic system, which has AM, FM, and Sirius Satellite Radio. Sirius Satellite Radio comes with a new car for three months for free. After that, it will eventually deactivate unless you sign up for it. This vehicle has Bluetooth hands-free, as we've already discussed. And if you have your phone synced up to the system, and you have your communication enable, connected up, you can actually stream music as well as play any music that you may have stored on your phone through the system. Uh, again, uh, we go down below the stereo system and we get into the climate controls. The climate controls are fairly basic. This is your fan control on, off, and various levels. If you want internal recycled air, you hit that button and that activates your internal recycled air. This is your ducting control. You select it via turning the knob and you have your defrost for the rear window and you just push it to activate it. And then over here on the far right button, this is your temperature control. And if you want AC, you can turn it on by pressing the button and or flipping it all the way over to max and it will also turn it on. Down below, you have your passenger uh, restraint light warning system and then you have your active eco active eco is a system that allows you to maximize your fuel economy in the vehicle if it's activated you will lose a tiny bit of performance but you will gain fuel efficiency the computer tells the transmission to shift at most fuel efficient optimal points as well as making some subtle ignition system changes on your engine if you want full power turn it off and then you got full power we get down here to your communication ports. You have two accessory sockets. You can use adapters in those for various other things like USB connections. Of course, the USB and the auxiliary are communication ports for the stereo system, but the USB does also put out power for charging as well. And now we're to the transmission. You have a six-speed Sportmatic transmission. What does Sportmatic mean? What that means is if you pull this back into the D position, it's like any other automatic transmission, you are in drive. But if you want to manually shift this transmission, you take the handle and take it from D over towards you and you're in a plus and minus manual shift mode. It literally can manually slap shift this all the way through all six gears and back down to first. Most people will only use that feature for gliding down a steep slope like coming down off the mountain and using it to decompress as opposed to riding your brakes all the way down the mountain. And of course this has the emergency brake and a pole handle in the center console as well as a center console box. Shall we go for a drive? Yes! Alright, let's go.